Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, sometimes the most diligent homework is not going to lead you in the right direction. Right? Earlier today, let me be as upfront as possible. I had exactly a matchup that I thought I wanted, right? Andy Murray was playing a guy who hadn't beaten him in more than five years, right? And Murray had been on a roll. Well, moments ago, Andy Murray lost. Egg all over my face. Impacts my entire day. The point is you can figure out that Andy Murray's playing a guy who hasn't beaten him in more than five years. You could figure out that Andy Murray's great on the surface. That Andy Murray has been on a roll. That his opponent has been having problems. And yet you can still lose the play. Right? Let's turn our attention to the NBA All-Star three-point shootout. Now, I believe there is an opportunity here. Let's go through the contestants and let's talk about the odds. The favorite is Kyle Korver. He's going off at a plus 325, right? In second place is Steph Curry. He's a plus 400. In third place, according to Las Vegas Casinos, is Clay Thompson. He's going off at a plus 450. Then you have Kyrie Irving at plus 600. You have J.J. Redick at plus 700, James Harden at plus 800, Marco Bellinelli at plus 800, and Wesley Matthews at plus 800. Now, understand, a mistake many people make is they think this is just a shooting contest. But understand that how the contest is conducted impacts the outcome. In other words, a teammate's not going to be throwing these guys the ball. They're going to have to be reaching for the ball on a rack. Right? Also, this contest favors guys who can get off shots without jumping because jumping takes time. Right? You'll notice jump shooters will jump, land, jump, land. It throws off their rhythm after a while. Right? So... Let me just say, don't be dazzled by highlights where a guy gets a pass from a teammate and drains a three with a millisecond on the clock to win the game, right? That's not this contest. This contest is a grab the ball off the rack from three-point range contest. Let me also talk about how, I, how mispriced I believe this is. Favorite Kyle Korver, right? The guy who's the second most favored, Steph Curry, and the guy who's the third most favored, Clay Thompson, have one thing in common. None of them have ever won this contest. Right? Ever. So, I believe experience matters here. Right? Your comfort level in the excitement of All-Star Weekend and in grabbing balls off a rack matters. So to me, the guys I'm looking at aren't the favorite, aren't the second favorite, aren't the third favorite. Right? Rather, the guys I'm looking at in this tournament is number one, the guy who won it last year. Marco Bellinelli and number two the guy who won it the year before him Kyrie Irving you're getting a plus 800 on Bellinelli you're getting a plus 600 on Kyrie Irving let's just turn to last year for a second because both guys were in it last year that's the other thing to look at right who's been in this before Right? Steph Curry has been in it before, for example, right? But understand, last year, Kyrie Irving, who was the defending champion, did better than Steph Curry, right? They survived just the first round, right? They lasted just the first round, rather. Kyrie Irving hit 17 shots. Steph Curry hit 16 shots, 
right? Let me repeat that. Kyrie Irving hit 17 shots. Steph Curry hit 16 shots. Somehow the public has Steph Curry getting shorter odds by a significant margin, a plus 400, than Kyrie Irving, a plus 600. Keep in mind, last year, that's not even the year Kyrie Irving won it. He won it the year before. So these odds are totally off. Understand, more importantly, that in the first round of last year, Marco Bellinelli had the second highest score. The highest score was held by Bradley Beal, who's not in it this year. Nobody else in the contest, not Steph Curry, not Kyrie Irving, had the 19 in the first round that Marco Bellinelli had. Let me tell you, how good is Bellinelli? Bellinelli then got a 19 in the second round. Bellinelli followed that up in the tiebreaker round with a 24. Folks, you're getting a plus 800 on Bellinelli. Put a different way, understand you're getting twice the odds on Bellinelli than you're getting on Steph Curry. Think about it, right? To put Bellinelli's dominance in perspective, understand that there's only one guy in any round last year who had a higher total than Bellinelli, and that was Bradley Beal with a 21 in the first round. Right? Nobody else in last year's contest got to the 19 that Bellinelli equaled or surpassed in all three rounds. So, right? Who knows who's going to win this? But if I'm going to play the odds, I'm going to take Marco Bellinelli and I'm going to take Kyrie Irving, right? I'm not going to take other guys here, you know, who can hit threes in their sleep during games but might not be able to do so in a contest that requires that they take the ball off the rack, right? So my suggested play is Marco Bellinelli plus 800. Kyrie Irving at a plus 600. Those are my two picks for the three-point shootout for the 2015 All-Star Weekend. I hope you cash all your tickets. Good luck. Let me also say this, too. If one of these guys makes it to the finals, right, don't be greedy. If you have access to a live line, right, let's say you're in Vegas and you're using... Um, Cantor's terminal or whatever right for those of you online in jurisdictions that permit online betting right what you want to do is you want to be by a computer or by a terminal as this match is going forward if one of these picks makes it to the final round don't be greedy since you're getting great leverage on both of them right a plus 800 on one and a plus 600 on the other at that point, you want to hedge the play. At least put enough on the opponent in the two-person final round so that you can break even if that opponent should win the match. Okay, figure out hedging, think it through, figure out live betting before the event takes place. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Right? You don't have to agree with me. I understand the Splash Brothers, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson are making a lot of noise, right? I'm in Northern California. I'm aware of that. Kyle Korver has personally carried my fantasy basketball team all year, right? I know J.J. Redick was a great shooter in college. He's a great shooter in the pros. I'm a Pac-12 guy. I know all about James Harden, and I have from when he was in the Pac-12 in college, right? And yes, I'm aware of Wesley Matthews. Um, I know there are a lot of Blazer fans out there looking at him to carry the torch here, right? All I'm saying is this isn't like getting a pass in a game in the flow of an offense. This is something a little bit different. And my homework tells me the way to go here is to go with the guys who have won this in this format, Marco Bellinelli and Kyrie Irving. Let me hear from you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section to this video. Good luck. Thanks for stopping by.